Okay, welcome to day 22 in the Whiskey Advent Calendar. Uh, now, if you know recently I've been joined uh, by Rex, who's been hanging over and drinking leftover whiskeys. This time, it's Gene Neftuliev, who you won't see, but someday I'll drag him on camera and make him drink with me. Um, so, he's here to help me out a little bit. Now, uh, once again, Master of Malt, I had a disappointing problem when I took out Buffalo Trace, which is today's whiskey, which is a great bourbon, um, and that is that it had about a tenth of it missing and a leak stain, and it's wet all around the outside of it. I don't know what's happening with that, but my guess is this is undrinkable now, and so just in case, I have my own bottle of Buffalo Trace that I'm gonna pour from. Um, now, Buffalo Trace has a serious history. I wrote down a little bit of it because it was so much I couldn't just do it from memory. Um, we teach a lot about this in the bourbon class, but man, it dates back to 1775 on that location. Not the same distillery, but on the location where the distillery is, um, it goes back 1775 with Hancock and Willie Lee. It goes into Commodore Richard Taylor in 1792, handed over to, wait for the name, Blanton in 1822, and that's the first official distillery built. Recognize that name? Uh, the next name owns it. 1870, you'll recognize this name as well, because it's Edmund H. Taylor. And then was purchased by George T. Stagg. Do you see a trend here? Look at all the famous whiskeys coming out of Buffalo Trace that are named after founders. Uh, that's where you get a lot of the names from. Uh, stayed open during uh, Prohibition, one of the handful of distilleries that was legally allowed to produce for medicinal purposes. And uh, actually, it's where the Van Winkle whiskeys come out of. So, um, in that list, of uh, whiskeys coming out of you got Eagle Rare, you've got E.H. Taylor, Van Winkle, Stagg Jr., Blanton, Elmer T. Lee, Sazerac Rye, W.L. Weller, Old Charter, Ancient Age, Benchmark. Man, man, that's a lot of damn fine whiskey coming out of one location. Um, so well done. And you know what? This thing is so damn wet, I can't open it. So let's get rid of that shit and pour ourselves an actual glass here of Buffalo Trace. Now, any self-respecting bar is gonna have Buffalo Trace on the counter, or behind the bar, so this will be an easy one for you to track down even if you didn't do the Whiskey Advent calendar. Yeah. Man, the two bourbons they picked this year for the Advent calendar were just sort of classic bourbons. I mean, you got Evan Williams, and Buffalo Trace. Not very risky. No way to really go wrong. Uh, but yeah, at least we get to drink whiskey. Yeah. So this one's spicier. Now, one thing, um, and then again, when we go into tastes, remember they're freakishly subjective. So one thing that I notice when you have a bourbon that's high rye is you end up with a sweeter smell. Um, and a little sweeter taste, but the taste also have notes of kind of black pepper and spicy ending. That's when you notice you'll have a lot more rye in the bourbon. Um, if it ends with a sort of sickly um, rounded sweet flavor, you probably have a higher wheat. Um, it's smoother, but not as spicy. So rye is gonna add spice to a bourbon um, when used judiciously. When used in large uh, quantities, it gets really spicy. And it definitely takes the edge off of the dramatic corn I kind of want to. Uh, I kind of want it, so I'm gonna compare it to the Evan Williams because that's the only two bourbons we got in this calendar. Let's see what they taste like together. Okay, so that had to be sped up because it took me so long to track it down because I didn't know where I was looking for it. Now, uh, this is not going to be a fair comparison because this is actually the Evan Williams single barrel. So what happened was after I shot the um, video of Evan Williams before, uh, there were a couple people came up, saw the video and said, hey, let's try that Evan Williams. And so we sort of finished the bottle. So all I've got now is the Evan Williams single barrel, which is going to be higher proof. Not much though, it's 43. 
and we've got 45, so that's going to be the same. So, hey, it might be a fair comparison. All right, so let's see. Evan Williams. Yeah, right off the, right off, uh, right out of the gate, you got Buffalo Trace with the spicy notes. Mmm, the Evan Williams is good. But I think for my preferences, I actually prefer the Buffalo Trace. Um, it's smoother, but got pepper notes. And the Evan Williams is not as smooth and no spice, really. Yep, I think that's Buffalo Trace for the win. Uh, so there you go. Maybe you're gonna have to grow your vault so you can do things like that periodically. Uh, so once again, Master of Malt, uh, I think you owe me a Buffalo Trace. But but otherwise, a damn fine calendar so far. We've got two left, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Cheers.